Guys, deluded I'm back again. YouTube's in Golo Kante, YouTube's Lucas Terrara. And like some dickhead in the comments said, YouTube's Alex Hunter. I'm not a prick, I'm not him. But let's move on. I'm away from all of that. <sighs> Manchester City, has, um, well, I don't know if he's still in a job. I believe he's been let go. But Dean, Dean Ransdell, some of you that are old enough to remember, he's a former Barnsley player, I believe. Fast forward, he's a youth. Current his current role was a youth scout at Manchester, um, at Manchester City. Previously, he's worked at Sheffield Wednesday, I believe, and I believe once upon a time he's worked at Leeds. So, nor up north in the northern regions, he's well known and he's got a good network. Sadly, um, he's been let go by Manchester City. Apologies have been written to the relevant parties, and um, damage limitation has been done in regards to his racist comments. In this, in a sense of allegedly, he was he was talking with um fellow staff of the club and football agents in relation to BB, um, BBQs or what he likes to call <laughs> big black and quick essentially players. Now I'm laughing but it's no funny matter why I'm laughing is because it's mad how these stereotypes play into it man. I mean we know football nowadays has been tailored to big and strong players. We know the connotations between players, specifically black players with big and strong. I mean, the media and all of these things feed into it to the point, in my opinion, where I believe, obviously at times it's worried. If a man's big and strong and he happens to be black, then of course he happens to be that. Not that his colour needs to be mentioned, but too often they're not. Players are, are, are black players specifically, are, are judged on their physical ability or they just can't, commentators or whatever in the universe just can't help mentioning a player's physical ability. Before you look at you look at Paul you you look at Paul Pogba and give or take whatever you want to say on ability he's one of the best midfielders currently in today's football but way before a lot of people will mention his great technical ability his range of passing and his ability to um, use skills to get evade challenges and get out of trouble they will say he's a physical specimen to the point where he was nothing like Patrick Vieira he's compared to Vieira same way the RB was it's it's ridiculous the same way I call Lukaku is a physical specimen but before they talk about his goal scoring they talk about that and it feeds into a lack of intelligence they will tell you all these physical attributes before they speak about technical qualities and vision and all of these because it does feel like at times is that people don't want to admit that black players can be smart players without being strong and fast but moving back to this mr dean ramsdell allegedly like i said he was at a meeting with the staff of manchester city a couple of them and agents and um he's alleged to have called players a bbq big black and big black and quick or whatever he said this allegedly took place in june now it is upsetting because we like we like to gaze ourselves and say we've moved so far in society and things like that and we have made great progress but they're still retarded, recycled, and just damn right stale views like this. Yes, a man can be fast and strong whether he's black or white. And if a player happens to be black and he's fast and strong, that's cool. But to describe a player as a BBQ or, or to describe that, again, I don't know the context of the man's conversation with the agents and staff. But if he's talking with the agents and he's literally saying something of find me big black fast players it is it is pretty damn worrying that that that's the language being used and if he is a world if he, i don't want to say world renowned that's excited if he is a fairly known scout up north and he is a respected scout within the industry the industry is small people people talk so if he's comfortable to come and use language like this what language is he using behind the scenes in regards to recruitment when you look at his um his um his his massive network clearly football is about who you know so if we look at the basis that he's previously played for Barnsley he's been he's coached and and, and works as an acad in an academy vacancy at Leeds at Sheffield Wednesday and now Manchester City if we use that and the years he's been in the game in total he's amassed an amount of contacts so surely he's got to be using this language with people behind the scenes that's what worries me it's not even this story is sickening and I might have laughed but it is upsetting but we're at the point where it doesn't affect me per se because we see a lot of these but what what upsets me is behind the scenes like the confidence to come out and say this in public you, a lot of people you speak to in your network, whether that's gauging interest for players, finding out if the players in certain areas are good, getting opinions, people must use this language. And it also concerning when you consider West Ham got rid of, what was it, Tony Henry, for his regards about African players, about being physically strong. We've previously seen um, commentators, specifically in Italy and in other countries, label that black players can't concentrate and have, phys and have physical attributes. These are the stereotypes in football that need to be broken down. There's great mavericks of players. Raheem Sterling's wonderful technically my opinion and he clearly is quick but when you hear him speaking of spoken of is constantly talking about his pace martial is spoken about possibly 
winning Ballon d'Or in that one day. People talk about his pace and not his goal scoring. Killian, the same is said about him. It's it's ridic it's ridiculous. And out of which, again, this might not be the best example. He's in my head. And out of which, he's a bigger player than people give him credit for. He uses his body than people give him credit for. He's way more physical. Nobody really mentions his physical attributes. People say he's he's got the techers and he could have been playing for a bigger club if it wasn't for this, that and the other. It's upsetting because, like I said, with Tony Carr, with this, obviously Malky Makai a few years ago with the Texas and there's all other incidences of where this thing has taken place, even in regards to Chelsea's coaching a few years back, and I say a few years, many years back. It is up, it's upsetting. And it's also, it also, I swear, this something of this nature happened with Newcastle describing a, um, a Moroccan descent player as well. So the whole footballing culture is about 20 years behind. And even when I consider the scouting dynamic and look at League 2, the big, black and strong, in, 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 even if not you don't want to mention black, just the big and strong and pace, pace and physical specimen and stereotype is prevalent. And again, there are clearly players of that, but it's, 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 it's for me, it's appalling. Credit to City for getting rid of him and offering apologies and doing damage limitation and contacting HR and whatever authorities um, said, whatever they wanted to say. But it's just, for me, what, what really scares me is, of course, the language. It, 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 part of me makes it makes me laugh because how can someone think this, this? Like, how can someone's thinking be this elementary? Um, but it does sicken me. But away from the language, it's the confidence to use this in public. Again, I don't know how familiar he was with the staff or the agents he was allegedly talking to. But you don't just come out and say these things. You know you're saying the wrong things. Like, you know, you, you might genuinely not, which I don't believe, but you know you're saying the wrong things, essentially. So clearly, he's been years, he must have been talking in this closed circle and he's liaising and using language like this. And I mean, I've got to wonder what the City players must be feeling like. Obviously, at first team level, you're probably hearing about this and, and it, the action has been taken, it doesn't really affect you. If you're the young players, you're probably thinking, like, what the hell, man? Like, there's, there's a ridiculous amount of black players at Manchester City. It's. it's it's an old thinking. Sadly, I probably I dare to say I don't even want to put percentages on this, but a lot of the game probably think this that they're twenty thirty years behind. If that's the only criteria they're looking for, like it's it is what it is, man. Guys, deluded, man. Dean Ramsdale, hope you lose your job. You're a prick, and the rest of the and the rest of the insults can fly his way. But there's no more need to waste breath on my man. So yeah, guys, deluded. Get in the comments, subscribe, and do the rest. I'm out.